My voice has been taken from me. A virus is running through my body. And I'm not talking about the one I caught from playing too much Hoi 4 A to Z. This one is called the Common Cold. I know what you are thinking immediately, that it may be that other virus, but I can tell you post hastily that it is not. I just have the sniffles. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to die. Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, but not just any Hearts of Iron 4, it's Nostalgia November. Now if you remember in my past few videos I said when we hit 650k we will be doing another 7 Days of Madness and we're going to get Bo Cohen back on the channel, but we are going to be doing that in December because November is for nostalgia. And if you're one of those new subscribers that has recently come about, don't worry, I don't always sound so stuffed up. I just usually sound slightly stuffed up. And you may not be aware that in November on this channel every year we play nostalgic mods and games that we have previously covered but don't really play too much on the channel. We go back, we see what the mods have like now, if they've changed, if they're Still exactly the same looking at you, après moi le deluge. But yes, we go back, we have some fun with mods we've covered on the channel before, and we see where they've come to. And today, we're in Kaiserreich, like we usually start off with, but um, not normal Kaiserreich. Uh, you might be wondering what Kaiser Redux is, if you don't know. Well, uh, imagine Kaiserreich. Then imagine Kaiserreich with a bit of crack sprinkled on top of it. And boy, there sure be a little bit of crack sprinkled on top, eh? Alright, so I've previously played this uh, mod before when we had a little look at Georgia and we brought back Mr. Stalin, which was interesting. And I did say I wanted to come back and try out a few other focuses because there are some other weird ones to play. And I think the one that caught my attention was New England. But as you can see, it it doesn't exist right now. Yet. And just like the original British did, we must rebirth New England into the world so we can play it. Alright, for some reason if you don't know what Kaiserreich is and you're some weird guy that's just booted up Hoi 4 and is looking for mods, Kaiserreich? It's what if the Germans won World War One? It really is the paddling pool of jumping in the deep end of Hearts of Iron 4 modding, as it's um, kind of where everyone starts, really. And Kaiser Redux is a kind of side mod for Kaiserreich that um, adds a few more interesting, probably not too law friendly paths to a few nations. Although I do have to say, it does look very fun. Although one problem with Kaiserreich I have is that it lacks like balls. But anyway, we don't have to worry too much about anything right now as we are playing Canada. But we don't really want to play Canada, we want to play New England, so we kind of have to wait. Oh, old chap, King George V has died. He has bitten the bullet, and by bitten the bullet I mean he smoked too much and his lungs kaput. And thus, his son clearly has learned from his lessons not to smoke. Never mind. Now, for New England to be birthed into the world, we will have to wait for the American Civil War, which should be in about a year from now, so we're just gonna sit tight until then and pretend like we care about playing Canada. By George! What a cool hat! matches your kingdom. Oh shucks, the Afghanistanis are invading India. Which I guess for some reason is little old Canada's problem. Oh, it was a good war, old chap, but I think I'll be heading home right about... Oh yeah, I don't have a home. Well, <laughs> guess I'm going to Canada. Come on, America, explode, explode, poke the bear. Ick, Mongol, ooze. Oh my god, finally something's happening. All right now we just gotta wait for them all to start killing themselves and we are good to go here. Well, in we go boys. There we go, we've stolen New England and a bit more and now we shall soon get an event to do what we need to do. And I think the thing we need to do is this one right here. Ah, and there we go. New England. It's a lot like England, but new. And oh my god, what a 
damn focus tree. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be interesting. Oh, and we actually carry on all the technology we just got from playing Canada too, so that is cool. Now, I think we have to wait for a certain event to kick off before I do any focuses, because I do not want to break this, because loading quick saves every five seconds might be the Kaiserreich way, but it ain't my way. Now, it is important to uh, remember that we are a Canadian puppet right now, but that shall change in the future. Oh, there we go. New Governor General, Albert of Windsor, and he brought with him a interesting flag. Kind of preferred the other one, but this'll do for now. The Boston Massacre. As tensions stir in New England, the most radical of the Anglophiles have been drawn to the side of the Loyal Coalition, headed by H.P. Lovecraft. Oh my god. <laughs> Another flag change. New England's last hope. Only Lovecraft can save us now. Uh, just that sentence alone is kind of ironic and very funny because HP Lovecraft couldn't even leave his house without going into a panic attack. And oh my god, it's another flag change. And there he is. Look at him. Terrified at the role that has been bestowed upon him, no doubt. And now we have a interesting focus tree to go through and enjoy. If, for some unknown reason, you don't know who H.P. Lovecraft is, he was a man with an eye for the tentacles. Very intolerant of everything, and also scared of everything. He had a numerous amount of literary works of deep, horrible sea horror, and uh, I gotta say, pretty good stuff. Although, he was a very eccentric man who died very poor. Not too sure how he ended up as leader of New England, but uh, you know what? It's Kaiser Redux. I already said the cracks sprinkled all over it. Oh, uh, first things first for creating our eldritch abomination is we need to actually make this country stable. And right now we have a bit of a problem with people not being too interested with being led by Octopus Man. Oh god, okay, dealing with HP Lovecraft in charge is already going well. I see you uh, stringing together a sentence quite well here. Okay, yeah, might not be the best man in charge because these options aren't the best. Also, our overlords, the Canadians, have dragged us into a war with Puerto Rico. Right, I'm gonna need to um, borrow a few Indians to garrison New England because uh, <laughs> I'm running out of guns. You ever seen the show <clears throat> X Files? Yeah, that's a real thing now. Well, this has been created. Starting to think. They have put a crazy man in charge of New England. Exploring the paranormal? I mean, hell. What, why the hell no? We got nothing else to do in New England, do we? Uh, all of America, you know, just absolute blood being spilled everywhere. Chaos fighting. New England. Is there anybody in the room with us right now? If anybody is in the room, can you sliver your octopus tentacle into my A? Ah, Shadow Over Innsmouth, a amazing book by H.P. Lovecraft I highly recommend you check out. And I think they also may have made a PC game called Call of Cthulhu or something like that back in the day. Uh, the, the picture will be on screen right here. It's an old PC game. But I'm pretty sure it's based on Shadow Over Innsmouth. If you like little fish men that look like Bo Cohen Wan, you may enjoy this book. Hey guy, I, I googled it. Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. I'm pretty sure that's about Innsmouth. And uh, I guess if for some reason you ever want to play it, it's on GOG. Don't buy it on Steam. I guarantee it's probably not as good as Teenage Me remembers it. Oh, on a second. That's Pierce Brosnan. There you go, 007, your mission is to kill all the people trying to overthrow HP Lovecraft. I'm actually going down <laughs> this right now, just seeing what happens, and uh, there's a few interesting little buffs we're gonna be getting. All right, so to uh, actually get this land caught by the looks of things, we are gonna have to send the men in with some guns, and we are struggling on the gun department. We are making a whopping 13 a day. We need more guns. <laughs> Who needs an army? I just noticed that the um the Belgians are currently helping out the Americans over here. Well, I guess you'll not want to uh, complain, eh, MacArthur? It's not like you got a lot of friends at the moment. I've got loads of friends. They just so happen to be all in my head. And from the sea! Alright, first things first, we are breaking free from Canada as they are sucking out our factories and we need them for 
non-sea related stuff. I promise you, Canada, it's not about the sea anymore. It's about the fish people! Our allies in the Entente have gone to war with their old countries to try to make them new countries, but in turn return to the old. Sure it's gonna go well for them. It isn't really our problem though. New England is quite happy being New England, although we are making an army to make New England potentially a little bit bigger. Oh, uh... <laughs> How'd you get here? <laughs> well, uh, you're in charge of this army, and let's just say I hope your head stays on this time around. Uh, we're removing the old values of Christianity in New England and replacing them with something a little bit more fishy. The Esoteric Order of Dagon. Oh my god, no, he's speaking Welsh. Well, if you um can't be bothered to read this wall of text, HP Lovecraft just killed everyone who could oppose him. The purge has delst begun, and Lovecraft's reign of power is cemented. Um, also, that's Todd Howard, and that's George Bush. Great. And it is time we walk into the shadows. Now we have two options we can go down, which is showing them the light or embracing the darkness. One where we go ahead and try to conquer America, and the other where we realistically do what HP Lovecraft would have done and shut ourselves indoors and never come back outside. Now, I don't have much of an army or an economy to actually conquer all of America. I'm kind of betting that my faction might be able to help us out here in the fact that, um... We're gonna divide and conquer this bioch. I was kinda hoping the Antan would have finished up this war, but it's the AI. They can't naval invade to save their life. Oh, I just realized our uh <laughs> our leader picture has actually changed. <laughs> we've um we've seen some shit. Well my fellow Americans, it's time for you to have one more participant in this um this mess. Uh, I also, uh, I brought all my friends, not just the ones inside of my head. No, there are more in there than you can simply imagine. Okay, for a second, I was very worried. JFK got shot in the head. Oh, uh, we're finally making some big money plays over here. Uh, all it took for was uh, just... Well, we killed half a million <laughs> of the combined syndicates right now. Uh, Canadians are getting pushed back a little bit, but I do have a little reserve troop up here, just in case things get a bit too, uh, fishy. <laughs> We've wiped out enough of their troops now, up to one million casualties, the 700,000 from New England, don't mind if I do, that I'm confident we can just push through and battle plan the rest of this, and then we'll move on to actual America. Right, that's one down, quite a few more to go. Now, we don't get this land as cause, so we are gonna have to send George Bush and Pierce Brosnan, the dynamic duo, to go subdue the riot. Now, because the front lines are getting a little bit tricky over here, and the uh, Pacific states are pushing east very quickly, I'm gonna declare war on both of these immediately. It's taken a while, but the, the Lovecraftian tanks be marching into Washington. All right, and then there was Juan. They were not really ready, but I'm gonna declare the war anyway, because we are out of manpower. And the people were trying to get me to lower my conscription, which is not going to work. Our plan is to kill them before I run out of manpower. My light tanks are very good, and we can easily beat their, um, their medium and heavy tanks, which is pretty poggers. And we are going to try and do this quickly. Yeah, and we are going to have to be very careful. We have no manpower. We have a few left in recruiting here, so if it gets too dire, we shall deploy them, but we just need to hold the line while we can eat these troops. That's right, it's HP Lovecraft's march to the sea. That's it, we can't just sit around here anymore with no manpower. We're gonna conscript the fish people. Well, I didn't want to do it, but I called in my allies for help, which has led them to, um, no, not face too well by the looks of things. And I know it's not very HP Lovecraft to ask for help, but if we want to be home for Cthulhu must, we're gonna have to do this quickly. I have lost a lot of men, but the encircling tactics are definitely working. We are actually pushing forward now on a pretty empty front line. And I've also killed 848,000 Americans. <laughs> They've killed half a million though, and that's a lot for us. Uh, these endless encirclements are taking 
taking their tolls on our tanks, though. We are running out of tanks. All right. This is definitely a bold move, but I am going for it. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Bond. <laughs> this is either really dumb or it's going to end the war immediately. Um, or it could be both. Well, it's dumb, but it also definitely paid off. And that is beautiful. Uh... Shame about this, though. <laughs> There's the mad power gone. Oh, I guess we don't have much else to do now, other than the endless revolting. But alas, I think we have done all we really plan on doing. Of course, uh, the war in Europe is still going on, but uh, my war with the fish people has only just begun. Uh, but thankfully, that battle is all in our heads. <laughs> but yeah, Kaiser Redux again has very much surprised me. But just like normal Kaiser Reich, it's very laggy. And I've been playing for hours at this point, And I think it's time to call it quits. Very fun though. And I gotta say, the other New England uh, parts of the focus tree actually look pretty interesting too. So maybe next Nostalgia November, we'll come back again. Yes, that is the end of the first episode of Nostalgia November. It's pretty fun. I'm glad we start off with Kaiser Reich, and uh, if you guys want any of the mods or games you've ever seen on this channel, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and let me know what you want me to go back to and have some fun with. But yes, again, thank you very much for 650,000 subscribers. You'll have to forgive my voice again. I am very stuffy right now. My nose and the pile of tissues next to me is not just because I really love the New England focus tree. It's because my nose won't stop running. But yeah. Thanks for the 650k subscribers, and remember, I will be doing the 7 Days of Madness at the start of December, and then followed with that, we'll also have a episode with Bo, a special episode with Bo, and also, you got the Mega Campaign coming up in December, but right now, it's Nostalgia November, and boy, it's time to feel nostalgic.